I'm sorry guys, I, uh, I messed up this time. I uh, didn't want to do this, but uh, I am weak-willed. I have no self-control and my craving for plastic crack is it's something that can't be stopped. Um, I bought black chrysanthemum. Um, and might as well have a look at it while we're here. <laughs> um, yeah, so I picked up this figure. Am I proud of myself? Not really. Um, did I pay full price? No, I didn't. So that's, that's slight win, slight win, ever so slight. Does the box look cool? Yeah, yeah, it does. It does look cool. It does. Well, let's take a look at the box. So here we have. Mr. Mr. Black Chrysanthemum in his battle with Obi-Wan Kenobi. Do have some sort of panels down the side there. Image on the back of him looking away, which is, you know, ironic when Hasbro res referred to the artwork to create this figure, they, they look the other way. <laughs> so, look at this. Beautiful picture here. Really nice picture of this uh, hulking brute, Black Chrysanthemum. The ferocious and skilled Wookiee gladiator turned bounty hunter, Black Chrysanthemum, has worked for the likes of Jabba the Hutt and Darth Vader. And then, uh, let's, let's look at what we got here. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's sort of all I can say. Um, if you kind of do that, and just, just look at his head, you can go, oh, okay, oh, that's, that's, that's okay, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, this is, uh, you know, if you ask Pam from the office to uh, look at these two side by side, it's corporate wants to know the difference between these two things. Um, she wouldn't give you the typical answer of they're the same thing. But alas, we are here. I have the figure, I'm gonna review it. Let's open it up and take a look. All right, folks, um, here we have the figure out of the packaging, obviously. There are a couple of lessons to be learned here. It is that, uh, you know, while this isn't the worst figure, that Hasbro's ever done. It's it's not great. You know, the, as the, the entire body sculpt, arms, legs, torso, is just reused Chewbacca, which is a mistake itself. Um, and for the higher price point, particularly here in Australia, I'm not sure if these sort of, um, you know, gaming greats, comic greats, literature ones, whatever they kind of call these, these ones, um, not sure how they go the rest of the world, but here in Australia they retail for an extra 10 bucks. Um, and you're not paying for anything particularly new with this figure, not in terms of percentage of the figure. Um, some figures are good, like army builders, like you've got, you know, Jedi Fallen Order Biker Scouts and Purge Troopers and etc. Like, they work. But when you announce a new figure, extremely close to his, you know, debut in a TV series, Book of Boba Fett. And then you show them this, and they show you this. It's just not, like, that's an extra 10 bucks that we're paying, you know, isn't, doesn't feel justified with the reuse of the body mold. Now, I would have been okay if, if Hasbro decided to do a builder figure line and then you, you know, put out a wave of comic figures, but you get extra parts with it. And that, that would justify the price point of, of a gaming greats or something where you construct a figure, much like Marvel Legends does really, really well. So, you know, imagine they drop a Dr. Aphra in a comic box and you get a leg, um, you know, to name, to name a few, you get re, do a re-release of the two droids, the two murder droids, and you get an extra, an, an arm, a head, a torso, out of a wave. And then when you're done, you're left with a 
you know, an inch taller black chrysanthemum, extra detail paint on his armor, fits on the body better, you know, just, just it actually fits better than some of the previous photos. That could be whether they've shrunk, that they've shrunk it down or whether just those photos were just bad, they just didn't grab it right. But yeah, I, I think that would be a generally accepted um, way to go about it if Hasbro were to do something like that in the future. And, and most people wouldn't mind paying that extra, you know, five to ten dollars for an extra part of a figure. And it would make them, make them buy the, the entire way. Whereas, you know, at the moment, Star Wars collectors are able to pick and choose between what they get. Just adjust my camera here. There we go. So I think that's probably a way forward. But, um, yeah, a lot to be desired. We have Chewie's bowcaster being, you know, simply, I would say repainted, but it's not even painted. So it's just cast in plastic and that's what you're giving him as a weapon. And if we refer back to the packaging, it'll be there. You know, this piece here was removable. You know, this the fact that it is glued on now, and I've broken it. Like, I've literally just broken that. I'm going to glue it back on. But, you know, the, the fact that this was a separate part in previous Chewbacca figures, you know, they couldn't just find something that kind of matches that a little bit more, rather than just the same old thing. And then looking inside, at this picture again, he has a big holster on his leg with a big piece strapped in there. And he has this gigantic Wookiee weapon in black. It almost looks like, you know, if you had put out, if you all remember the Marvel Legends Winter Soldier, back when Winter Soldier came out as a film and they gave Bucky that ridiculously huge red stupid comic gun. If he would have painted that black and, you know, some maybe grey accents or something and given it to him, that would have worked. You know, just as an excuse to give him something. There you have his big, big weapon there. I know it looks completely different to what I just described, but at the same time, you know, anything a little bit more would have been appreciated. So my plans for this figure are not going to do a lot with it. Um, this armor needs to be painted. You know, it's just a flat, flat, boring plastic. It's not super exciting. Um, sculpt of it's good. Uh, it's not super soft. It's got a good, you know, can, doesn't hinder any articulation, which is nice. It's got enough flex in it that it will move. Should we have to slip it down over his shoulders. But yeah, it's definitely designed to fit underneath that head. But the head sculpt itself isn't too bad at all. Let's zoom up and have a look at that. So the fact that they have gone with a new sculpt for the head is something I do appreciate. I like this sort of extra braids. Now it is very possible they've sort of just slightly retooled the Chewbacca um, and add on those braids. Some more at the back, unpainted, which you know, again, that's just a little bit, a little bit lazy. Yeah, we know we can, we can't see them from in the box. We're not all in box collectors, you know, sitting inside the box, you wouldn't know that they're unpainted at the back. But um, yeah, just I don't know. I've just a little bit more bang for the buck would be, would be nicer. Um, you know, fingers crossed, we can get maybe at least a, you know, realistic version of this guy in the TVC. Because um, let's face it, they're not going to put him out again in Black Series so soon after this release. You know, when I when I eventually sat my collection up again, he's probably just going to stand behind um, Dr. Afrena droids. 
on my sort of comic EU shelf. But yeah, not a, not a whole lot of range of motion in the head. But yeah, definitely definitely needs a little bit of work. Um, just so at least I feel like I've got a little bit of my money's worth. Um, I'm glad I didn't have to pay full price, which is always a bonus, but, you know, a character like Black Crusantin has a lot of potential, should have been, you know, should have had a lot more effort put into it, but, you know, maybe Hasbro could, get, could go down the uh, way of the builder figure, you know, there's more than enough room in these boxes for extra accessories there's just so much room in there you could put another leg maybe with a smaller figure like a droid you could put a put a torso in there but there we have it there is black chrysanthemum please let me know your thoughts down in the comments below um you know i i, I got this because i wanted to review it i wanted to talk about it i didn't buy it because i fall in love with the figure <laughs> it was wasn't on my hit list at all um but yeah wanted to express my thoughts about it and uh you know get a little feedback and see what other people think um I, mr daniel east 1000 he did a similar thing with his um and more so just to sort of voice our opinions um and you know i doubt hasbro's gonna watch my videos but you know if we get the word out there there are better options um, that will please us fans and collectors long term. There is a way to do it. So yeah, please sound out in the comments below. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all on the next video. May the force be with you, always.